Lieutenant Urban Drew was a fighter pilot extraordinaire. He shot down Nazis and was given one of the most prestigious ceremonies at Arlington National Cemetery. My father uh, served uh, during World War II and uh, he was stationed in, in England and, um, and flew the Mustang, the P-51D Mustang. He was even given the second highest award in the Air Force. He was a, an ace. He had uh, six aerial kills and one ground kill. I think the uh, most notable victory was his uh, shoot down of two German uh, ME-262s in a single uh, dogfight. And uh, that was a feat for which many years later he was awarded the uh, Air Force Cross. He passed away on April 3, 2013 and was applicable for a full honors military funeral at Arlington. However, his family had to wait eight months for the service. Arlington National Cemetery performs about 8,000 funerals a year. Lieutenant Drew's family said it was well worth the wait. It was a beautiful day. As one of the most decorated World War II pilots, his friends and family felt it was essential to have a flyover. There's no higher salute to a pilot than a flyover from another aviator. Due to budget constraints, the Air Force was not able to provide this service. At this time, the United States Air Force wasn't able to support this flyover uh, from either an active duty Air Force Reserve or a National Guard resource. However, according to Senator Tom Coburn's wastebook, after Congress ordered the Air Force to purchase $432 million worth of cargo planes that had been taken out of service, the Air Force was then allowed to mothball its brand new C-27Js before these aircrafts took a single flight. With World War II vets passing at a rate of almost 600 per day, there's not many left. So Tom recruited a civilian pilot to fly his own airplane into Arlington, a flight restricted zone. As the owner of a refurbished World War II fighter bomber, Andrew McKenna was able to add something to the ceremony that the Air Force would not have. Pretty cool to be able to uh, uh, be asked to do a flyover at Arlington, our nation's most sacred ground. Uh, in the airplane that he flew in World War II. With precise coordination between Air Combat Command, Aerial Control Team, and Arlington Cemetery, the pilot took off from Manassas Regional Airport into the restricted airspace. He flew over Arlington just as the Quezon, Honor Guard, and Band were assembled. I have to admit, when Andrew flew over in the, uh, in the P-51 Mustang and, and, and gave us a, a wave, that was, uh, that was pretty special. My, my father, I, I know, would have appreciated that and would have liked to have done that flight himself. The ceremony also included a firing party and the perishing's own U.S. Army Band. Following the full military honor ceremony, the family was invited back to Manassas Airport to follow up with one more pilot tradition. To be able to honor him in this type of an airplane rather than the one, you know, uh, a modern day frontline strike fighter, I think makes it a little more impactful. And introduced Lieutenant Drew's grandson to the cockpit. A full military honors funeral at Arlington includes a caisson, an escort platoon, a casket team, a firing party, and a bugler. Fortunately for Lieutenant Drew, his funeral also included a flyover of a P-51 Mustang. In Arlington, Virginia, Perry and Boring, RT.